gorgeous ones how are we just past eight o'clock um it's obviously dr lucy here and um i'm in my study today lockdowns lockdowns so i'm in melbourne and we are on the brink of probably another lockdown sydney's in lockdown queensland ah uh, they've got a couple of cases who knows so clearly, clearly, clearly very uncertain times. Can you hear my little dog? Shh. Lots of uncertainty, lots of disappointment, lots of anger, lots of frustration. All of these feelings, all of these emotions, a bit of fear, all brewing, bubbling, simmering, all floating around in our community. All completely normal reaction to what's happening. We don't like these feelings. We honestly don't. Why would we? I mean, nobody wants to feel uncertain, anxious, worried, angry, frustrated. Nobody wants to have those feelings, but they are normal. They are normal in relation to what's going on. And it is normal to project them out. It's just not that helpful because you're putting, often putting them onto somebody else. And so because we don't want to do that, because we're good, decent people, we then go, well, what can I do with this feeling? I need to, oh, I've got to get rid of it. And so that's why we eat or drink. That's why people sit on the couch having their ice cream or having glasses of wine every night. Eating and drinking are not part of a stress management plan. They honestly aren't. I know we're told they are. I know we're told that have a glass of wine, you'll feel better. Have some chocolate, you'll feel better. And you do in the short term, but they're not a good strategy for long term. COVID kilos are not inevitable. People come in and they go, you know, I was going really well and then COVID, like they had no ability to manage this. COVID kilos are not inevitable. If they've happened, okay, be very kind because you know, again, these are un, <laughs> dare I say it, unprecedented times and people use whatever coping strategies they need to get through it. But the thing is, it's not going away. It's coming and going. It's going to be here. It's probably still going to be here bloody next year, if I honestly think about it. The rate at which our vaccination program is, the fact that we're going to need boosters, the fact that the variants keep coming, all of this. Very, very uncertain. Very, very uncomfortable times. We need to be very kind to ourselves. But kindness does not mean that we need... We It's a free pass to eat and drink whatever we want because at the end of the day that's not being very kind to our body so we've got to think about the body that's the way I like to do it what can I do to help me feel better that is kind to my body so there's lots of things that we can do for that lots of things and remembering because I've taken food and alcohol off the agenda it's not even on my list now of options so, you know, on my list now of options are things like particularly sitting outside. It is very good breathing, deep breathing, okay, really like it does settle that nervous system down. Our brain is hardwired when we're feeling anxious to start releasing all of our fright and flight hormones. It's normal, okay, and it's part of our evolution. It is normal if we're anxious or worried for our brain to think there is some immediate threat and it needs to react and it does this with cortisol and adrenaline it puts up our blood pressure our blood glucose all sorts of things and we breathe in our top part of our lungs <sighs> if we're calm if we focus on our breathing it sends a very strong message to the brain that there is no imminent threat there is no need for cortisol to come racing in to help us run away there is no need for adrenaline to come in and beat our heart so that we can pump our blood very slow deep breathing you can either do it as box breathing so in for four hold for four out for four hold for four or triangle breathing where you do in and, and again, you can choose whichever numbers they are. They might be in for three, 
hold for four, out for seven. Very strong message to our brain. There is no need to panic right at this moment. Lovelies, be kind to yourselves, be kind to everyone else. Oh, I can see cats running in the distance. <laughs> look, look around, focus on what is happening right now. Find something to ground yourself to, notice something wonderful. Deep breathe, we will all get through this. We don't need to eat our weight in M&Ms to do it. Have a wonderful day, darlings.